Hi, this is Brad Yeager with your weekly grain market update for the week ending Thursday, July 2nd, as markets are closed Friday, July 3rd for Independence Day. On the week, September corn futures were up 24 cents, while December corn futures were up 28 cents. August soybean futures were up 32 cents, and November soybean futures were up 36 cents, while September wheat futures were up 16 cents on the week. We had quite a bit happening and plenty of excitement all jammed into a shortened trading week. Monday's crop progress report had corn conditions improve, improved a percentage point to 73% rated good to excellent, and soybeans also improved a percentage point to 71% good to excellent, both of which are above average the last five years. Winter wheat ratings remained flat at 52% rated good to excellent, with winter wheat harvest 41% complete. Then on Tuesday we had the USDA's quarterly stocks and acreage report that gave us a bearish increase in corn stocks and a small decrease to soybean stocks, which was pretty much expected. The real surprise came in the planted acreage numbers. The USDA pegged planted corn acres at 92 million, which was almost 5 million acres less than their March intention number. The interesting part was soybean acres only increased 300,000 acres from the March intentions to 83.8 million acres as of the June report. The numbers added up to a large decrease in planted acres for the year. The big decrease in planted acres along with current heat and dryness forecasted for the next couple weeks during the Corn Belt's pollination period has the markets excited and chasing speculators out of their short positions. The forecast will be watched closely the next several days as it will be a big part of whether we can rally more or not. Be proactive in making sales or at least putting orders in to make sales as grain stocks are still ample and good rains can quickly end a rally. If you have any questions or concerns, please give your local grain merchandiser a call. Thank you for listening to this, market's, this week's market recap and have a good 4th of July.